The essence of JB software is fascinating both from purely technological point of view and from human point of view too because it allows the sufferers from motor neuron disease, one of the most debilitating medical conditions, to get part of their personality back. It gives them back their voice, it gives them back their dignity. Let's ask Ian Scofield, the creator of JB, to tell us more about it. The idea of JB, Vitaly, is to allow people to communicate fully with as little input as possible. I'll give you the first simple uh, example. I'm just going to type the letter H and you can see all kinds of things that appear on the screen and I'm just going to type the space. Button. How are you? And you can see already it said, how are you? And look at that. I've been talking to you, Vitaly, earlier on and something about you appears. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing. I'm just going to type the number one. Hello, Vitaly. How are you today? And as you can see, it said that with uh, expression. Can you uh, have JB greeting me with original accent? A uh, Birmingham voice. Yeah, Midlands. Yes. This is a test. Please click the yes button to save this voice or now to choose another. How about a Russian accent? I don't have Russian, Vitaly, but I do have German. Could be quite funny. Yeah. This is German. This is Matthias. <laughs> this is our test. Please click the yes button to save this voice. I know that it's, it's, it's sort of uh, amusing and interesting, but of course it plays a huge role in uh, uh, helping people to preserve as much of their personality, uh, which, uh, which they're losing basically, unfortunately, as a result of this disease, well, as possible, because voice and accent are extremely important uh, for one's personality. It's like the color of your eyes, you know, and it's what you are basically, who you are. It's very, very important, and that's one of the uh, the things that we're trying to uh, to get is dignity. That uh, at least the neutral voices, which are supplied with uh, JB, are are very uh, personable voices. But you can go further than that. Uh, we have two voices from a company called Seraproc in Edinburgh who produce these voices, uh, and they have also produced a voice for uh, Roger Ebert in, uh, in in America. They can produce voices from recordings or from individuals who do the recording. As long as you have enough uh, recordings, obviously, of your own voice. That's absolutely right. So it's a very new thing, basically. The, the, the issue here is that because of the interface that we have, any voice in a SAPI 5 format will be picked up by JB. Normally when you buy a piece of equipment, you buy the voice with it and that's it. You do get two voices with this, but you can add any of the voices that you want. Fascinating. Um, I find that when you are using the word please, the next word you tend to use are get or make or do, so I'm going to say get. Right? And he says, when you use the word get, what you tend to do is say me. But it's building that phrase up as we go. But we already see that it has the phrases which are probably likely that you want to use. So here we are. Please get me a cup of tea. Okay. So it's predicting in the buttons over here the words that you're going to use and the sentences that you're going to use. And with a very f uh, small number of clicks, you can actually create those. Switch operation builds on the concept of the predictive keyboard. And I'm just going to use a switch over here as though I can just move one uh, muscle. I've clicked on the TUV button and it's uh, predicted the word took, but that's not the word I want. I want the word tablets. I predict on the ABC, the word tablets appears, and so do phrases with a tin. I need some pain tablets. I've clicked four times, so that's the equivalent of clicking, moving, squeezing, blinking, four times, and you've said a complete sentence. Yes, it has meant I can still communicate. This is JB signing off for Reint TV video.